are some proper moves. Watch me now. What's happening? So, Wrench from Watch Dogs 2's outfit is in the game. I finally got to rank 20, and I got it. Apparently, you get his wristbands, his jacket, and the pants, along with his shoes, at rank 20. But you get his mask at rank 16. Uh, for a little bit, I was wondering, why do you get his outfit when he's actually a DLC character? But it just occurred to me that he's a DLC character. That's his custom outfit that he cannot share. Just like a police officer can't share a police uniform with anybody else, he can't share his outfit with anybody. But now, along with the Season 1 Battle Pass, or whatever it's called, I can look just like Wrench 2. Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah, you walk away. I'm feeling good today. Actually, that doesn't make sense. Usually when I feel good, I just kill people. Catch me when I'm feeling bad, bitch. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I got Wrench's outfit. Uh, I love it. Uh, yeah, I'm playing as a woman. And I'm playing as a woman without real guns. Wrench is a guy, and he uses real guns. But uh, this person I'm using, her name is Doreen. She is actually one of my favorite characters in online. I only have her in online. Uh, and she looks like one of my best friends. So it it's really cool that I get to play as somebody who looks like one of my best friends. She has all the tattoos. She has the hairstyle and everything. Uh, and, and they're both badasses, so it's just badass. Man. Can I get a yeet yeet? For those of you who don't know the trick, uh, if you just spawn your uh, little spider bot uh, for like a few seconds and have him uh, get a few shots in and then despawn him, you can respawn him back in. That way, he'll never get broken. And you can just keep popping him out. Show off this outfit a little more. Pop him out again. Ah, it's behind a car. Oh, I love these shock weapons. They do so little damage and are so useful. Yeah! Give him the biz nasty. <laughs> oh yeah, another trick, another tip, online mode has like snap aiming, so if you quick aim, so if you quick aim, fire off a few shots and then let go and then re-aim again, uh, you'll basically have auto aim, just like that. Just a little trip I found, um... Uh, while playing co-op missions. What well, I, I can last. I'm ready to immobilize the target. 
I'm picking up an imminent threat in this area. Yeah. Officer down. Send help. Make it stop. Fucking shit. Use a pursuit intervention technique. Up him down. Watch it. Oh. Just like that. Crap, crap, crap. I'm about to go down. Control, we are pursuing the suspect. I'm doing very well. I'm at four triangles. Crap, 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 no! No! Control, we have a visual on the suspect. I need my spider bot. Oh no! <laughs> uh shucks. I can't wait for the real wrench to come out. Okay, hey, round two. Except this time we're gonna do a co-op mission. Uh, I'm gonna be playing this guy with the hood down, so you can, you know, see the mask without the hood on. Pro tip, I actually got this from one of you guys. Thank you very much, Valkyrie Furland for reminding me that the Royal Guard has the best auto rifle in the game so far. The G36. This is the one that the Hitman has, but you can't play as the Hitman. So this is the only other character you can get that has this gun. So the Royal Guard. And I found one that takes less damage. I got lucky. So, just to remind you guys, Here's the Royal Palace on the left side of the map. Just go over there, pick yourself a, a Royal Guard. They cost 30, and then get yourself an awesome gun. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And we're going to do a co-op mission. See how long it takes. Uh, sure. Who cares? Booyah. Uh, I would love to play the whole story mode with Aiden. Uh, that's why it's taking so long for them to pop him out, uh, because they weren't prepared for that for some reason. Uh, but the problem I have is the only way I can play the main story is by restarting the game, and Ubisoft, in their infinite wisdom, haven't given us extra save files. So the only way I can do it is to upload my save to the cloud, play the whole game over, and then hopefully I can download my save back from the cloud. The only reason I see this as an issue is because my show, London Strife, has specific characters, and I can't finish my show if I get rid of my characters. But, yeah, I will play the Aiden DLC. Well done. Oh, wow. I just started at the end of it. That's fun. <laughs> Their eggheads are developing oh, enough yeah. to remotely detonate all the devices. Like Although I look a lot better with the hood optics, up. Self-driving cars. <laughs> Shit, oh, I love it. Indeed. Luckily, your I hacked optic awesome. includes a super-powered AI assistant who has traced the app here. All he needs now is an access key from the local server. Do not They're trying to do it stealthy. That's nice. Good for them. It's a lot more fun when you do it stealthy. You know, show off them skills. Hijack the camera. 
turn off the alarm. In the business. Oh wow. He's just not responsive. I actually picked a really good character for uh, showing this uh, skin off. Hey boys, you're missing a key! Ah, oh, I missed this gun. Uh, if you want to see some good stealth kills and assassinations, uh, check out London Strife Season 2. I play as, a, uh, as an assassin. I even do uh, like one of the best story missions in the game as a... Okay, I'm going down. myself up a bit with that Whoops. super powered thing i can't access this server it's locked by a multi-key security system if you Your find turn, the key cards for the ctos hub you should unlock the server noise you know what i think i'm gonna turn off my hud There we go. Get rid of the mini map. Looks better. Oh, the range is amazing. Definitely get yourself a royal guard, guys. Definitely get yourself a royal guard. <laughs> Still not as good against the kamikaze drones. <laughs> hmm? Oh, hello. Get out of that smoke. I'm not for sure if it actually damages you, but it definitely makes it a lot harder. Well, I found the app. It's protected by a fail safe that overheats the device on which it's installed. In this case, the self driving car over there. The failsafe is yeah. by an external authenticator, which is now installed on the other vehicle. You'll have to steal both cars and keep them close together Once again, I'd to like prevent to thank, the app from uh, blowing off the engine. Uh, Valkyrie uh, for reminding me about the Royal Guard. Uh, I actually got the Royal Guard uh, in my game uh, before I stopped playing it, so I never actually like really Let's got to hang play around as here. them. Stay close. I think you can get in on the other side, mate. It's a lot easier to shoot. Yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, he's probably got an Albion soldier. I gotta say, this is a lot better without the minimap. I really miss not having the HUD. It's been fun not playing with the HUD. But, um, uh, if the objective screws up and you can't see it, then you need the minimap. Hopefully all those things get fixed soon. Yeah, this guy knows what he's doing. He's standing on top of the car so he can properly defend the car. Yeah, just like that. Oh shit, I am so sorry. I was not paying attention. Careful, careful. <laughs> no, 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 keep keep going. You're fine. <laughs> I'm trying to watch him. <laughs> It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah! Some of that action. Booyah! Let's get it! Let's kill! You have reached your destination. Please apply the handbrake and leave the weaponized car for collection. No discrimination! We'll transfer the local Death files to your dead sex server. All have the right to be eaten. Blowing people to bits. Uh, that's from Alice Madness Returns, if you didn't catch that for a Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day.